So guys, as you can see, I'm in the same clothes as last episode. That is because I'm just watching it back to back because I cannot leave it on a cliffhanger. This is episode five. I'm reviewing it, reacting to it again. We're gonna see Ash's um, banishment, what she's got to say, and then gonna see how everyone reacts to it after. So let's go. If you like the videos, press like, and if you wanna keep watching more, press subscribe. Let's go. Now Harry and Miles will see that Paul has got it in him to backstab one of the other traitors. So now they're just going to be thinking at the same time. Rather than playing as a team, I'm just going to have to be selfish. And I reckon they will eventually go for Paul as well. I think, you know what, I think I think Miles might win this actually now. I'm changing my opinion. Episode 5, I'm changing my opinion. I think Miles is going to win this. A traitor. Oh my god, everyone's going crazy. Apart from Paul, why Paul? Paul, don't react like that. Go crazy. I do feel bad for the Tracers, it is really difficult because you do have to witness everything that's unravelling in front of you and also we're on episode 5 now, you are going to start building connections, They've at this point you know you guys don't know at home, you, you've been together 16 hours every single day, they've probably been together for more, more than 5 days easily, they'll probably be together like at least 10 days at this point, so it is, yeah, it is going to be like difficult for, for Paul to get rid of people. But Paul I said this in the last episode, the traitors have been you with no put choice. yourself in them dungeons, you will have heat on you regardless and if you crumble and buckle under it, you will be eliminated. But now I think even when Meg's removed, everyone's then going to be looking at Paul. Oh, get up, say hello, give hugs. The same theory that they're applying to, to Meg, they're not applying to Paul because of because their likability factor. It's Paul. I wouldn't understand it. Yeah, oh come on Zach, you're smarter than this. Look at me, I literally know who it is and I'm saying... Zach, think about it. Someone has to come up with a theory. Oh, he's looking a bit suspicious. Zach's, Zach's got it, he's got it. Zach's got it. He's thinking. Hey, look at Claudio smiley. See, this is where like they're like, right guys, we need to start changing the scenery, so can we all just go outside and play some badminton? That's true, Jazz. If you go all guns blazing, you will become a target. And it's not so much like in the banishment, but when you go to the, um, when when they go to murder you, that's when they'll kill you. So you have to almost sway everyone to go with Paul without being too loud. Why has Ross got a rucksack on? A Ross sack. They're really playing on this whole shield scenario. See, now they're starting to like murder. Like now they're probably building relationships. They want to get on with each other. They don't want to screw each other over. So they're just ditching the shield, which is what they should have done from the beginning. No one ever gets shown if you actually work really hard. So I'm actually so glad that they've actually done this this year. They've actually shown people that are working hard. See, Harry as well, I'm just saying it right now. Him, the fact that he's running back to get more pieces, like, they never ever showed this in our challenges. See, this feels like a nice episode. Like everyone's having fun. Everyone's kind of getting on. It's all good. And then the dreaded round table. And this is what I said. Paul wants to have three or four core cool people around him that are faithfuls that will always defend him. Who would like to start? Come then, who's starting? Harry has not been targeted once yet. I know I'm only on episode five and there's only one more out, but he's not been targeted at all, which I'm all for, but I do want to see him get tested at least once. Zach doesn't, he firstly articulates his sentences, which I like. He doesn't base his opinions on his emotions and he, I think he just conveys himself very well. He's gonna go for Josh. Uh, Josh, Johnny. Oh, I'm gonna cry. He's getting emotional, I'm gonna go upset. Okay, I've just picked up something there with Harry. I think Johnny is going. They've just gone for an easy round table here. Someone said Johnny, they've all jumped on with Johnny. Johnny's not defending himself enough. See, I was so bad at reading the room in these situations, I'll just go with whoever I thought. God, before you leave us forever, that's so, such an intense way of saying bye. You're not even allowed to get up and hug them and say bye either. So horrible, because that's like the last time you're gonna see them until the outside world, which is like, for some people, we Away. Oh, I've got goosebumps there. Ooh. See, before this round table, it was such a high because the challenge, everyone's working together, and then Johnny is such a good team member. I'm getting a bit emotional. It's like it's uh, time to repeat itself. That's why I was having a panic attack. That cameraman as well, he follows you everywhere. I wanted him to leave. I was like, please just leave him alone. I can tell you now that Johnny was a huge player in there, like everyone got on with him because everyone looks so down. And then this is the part where it gets you, it gets in your head and you're just like, do you know what, you want to give up, you want to just leave, don't really want to do it anymore. You get in the ride home and you just think like, you're just knackered all day. 
Oh, um, I, I actually feel that energy right now. I can feel the energy in there is just everyone's fed up. They didn't want to get Johnny out. Everyone's relationships are start developing. They're all getting on. I'm gutted for them. Because I, I actually remember this feeling now. Charlotte will back okay, all that. So I, I won't get rid of Charlotte. No way. That is episode five. See, I didn't actually feel like, I feel like that episode was a bit of a like downer episode. Like it was a bit sad, especially towards the end there, like the round table, like people, like Johnny didn't really want to defend himself um, as much as he probably could have. He was probably over it. He probably just wanted to see his kids as well. Um, it just, it just, yeah, it seemed like a bit of a, especially after the last episode as well, episode four, which was a big one. I think episode five is definitely, just kind of tippled off a little bit, but I expect the next one's going to be a big one. Um, who do I think is going to go? I don't think they'll take Charlotte because she backs Paul. I don't think they'll take... I think it'll be Tracy. I think Tracy will go. That's my verdict. But yeah, that was episode five, guys. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, I would say be my... 600th follower, no subscriber, but I don't actually know how many um, I'll have by the next episode because this episode won't come out for a few days. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have an amazing day, weekend, week, month, year, everything. All the love.